You're watching Del Marva Life, and I want you to take a good look at this picture. Now, this photo was taken February 4th, 2018, after the Philadelphia Eagles won their first Super Bowl. Now, if you recognize anybody in the photo, if you look closely, you'll see one of those bright, smiling, happy faces is Kayla Santiago from Del Marva Sports Network. Now, fun fact about this picture, this has been Kayla's lock screen on her phone ever since that day. Kayla, I love that. I love that so much. It's my favorite picture ever because it captures everything that that moment was. I mean, when you're talking about a team that you love growing up, winning their first ever Super Bowl, and then you do it around everybody that you love. I mean, just the emotions that day, being able to capture everything. And it was probably the greatest time of my life. I say, even when I rewatch it, it's not the same because I look at that and I'm saying, mm -hmm. this is my family. We're all holding hands during the Super Bowl. So nervous, so excited at the end and be able to capture that moment on camera with a little self timer. It's just been there. And I don't know if it'll ever change. Maybe this year, but I don't know about that. Yeah, how are you feeling about this year? I mean, it's coming right up. <laughs> it's really, really nerve wracking right now. You know, as a football fan and somebody just who loves sports in general, I think this is gonna be a really good game. You know, putting fandom aside, I think both teams really have dealt with a lot of adversity this year. You look at both quarterbacks really banged up in the playoffs in terms of injuries, not 100%. But as an Eagles fan, I'm ready, I'm excited, I'm nervous. The emotions are just all over the place. Yeah, so, so where are you gonna, like, what's your watch? situation are you watching with family I'm assuming it has to be I mean mm -hmm. at this point you know I grew up in South Jersey 25 minutes outside of Philly and we are all diehard Philly fans Phillies Eagles Flyers and Sixers everything in between so being able just to watch it with my family and having a day off to be able to go do that is really really awesome yeah. and I have to be there I mean it's gonna be like 50 to 70 of us again two TVs like it was before and I'm really excited when my aunt texted me it was like hey I'm gonna have another you know Super Bowl party thing can you come are you working and I was like I wouldn't miss it for the world so I'm really excited just to be around them all again and to be able to witness another Super Bowl and like I said before hopefully a birds win absolutely now do you have a favorite moment from that Super Bowl years ago there's so many I mean when you think about it my cousin and I were literally praying like this like my one of my aunts got a picture because we were just so nervous I remember everybody was sitting on the couches and then just a few of my cousins and I were sitting on the floor and they're like oh do you want to sit on a couch I'm like no I'm too nervous like we need to be like on the floor be able to get up so I think just being there with them and just like everybody getting so nervous at the same time was fun and then of course you know, after the win, when you look at your aunts, your uncles, your parents, and then all my other cousins who are a little bit older than me, and you just see their emotion, they waited longer for a Super Bowl than I did. So being able to see that and just see the smiles, the cries, the tears, and then everybody like hugging each other, jumping on each other, it was just a moment that I will never forget. Absolutely. And you were saying that this Super Bowl is also going to be pretty emotional for your family. Yeah, so back in 2017, you know, it was my whole entire family. And unfortunately, we did lose my uncle, who was just, you know, a diehard Eagles fan. And he was the type of person that would have a different relationship with everybody he ever met. He made everybody feel special. And it's been really tough, I think, for my family and I, even when they went to the World Series, just, you know, seeing him and him physically not being here. And we know he's with us in spirit, but it's just so different. You know, when you're with your family, and you know, he's not with us there and he's not saying let's go and all these things like he would just scream and you know, he would be so excited. I know he's going to be with us in spirit, but I think, you know, I said we cried last time. I think if they win, we're all just going to think about the same thing. My uncle, you know, cheering off from heaven. And I think it's going to be really emotional, but you know, I, look at the Eagles and the Phillies and I know that he kind of had a hand picking <laughs> up there and mm -hmm. how these teams got there. So yeah. it's going to be tough. I think, you know, definitely, you know, during holidays and big things like this, that's what you think about. But it's one of those things where I'm just really happy we were able to experience it with him back in 2017. And, you know, I'm blessed to be able to have such an amazing and supportive family to be there. And, you know, my aunt and my cousins who it was their dad. And then, of course, my aunt's husband. So, so strong. And I know they're going to be emotional, too. But, uh, you know, at this point in time, I think that we're all just excited to be together. And we know that if they're able to get a victory, it'll also be for him, too. Absolutely. Now, do you have a favorite all-time eagle and a favorite current eagle? Deshaun Jackson is probably my favorite all-time eagle. I just remember Miracle at the Meadowlands Part 2. I was in sixth grade 
watching the game by myself, and I just remember when Deshaun Jackson was able to, first off, muff the punt and then able to return it and have the Eagles win. I just called my dad. I was like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe this was happening. And I just really loved how he played. I loved everything about him at wide receiver. He was one of my favorite players to watch growing up for sure. And then right now, you know, you talk about Jason Kelsey, a guy just who was so durable and on this team. And I think at his position, you know, he's a center, right? And those positions get overlooked. He's not a skill guy, but he does everything. And he's so vital to this team that I just love watching him play. And then, of course, Jalen Hurts. I mean, Jalen Hurts said in his press conference a few days ago that I had a purpose before I came into the NFL. And he does things behind closed doors. And that's why he's so good doing what he does. And I just love his demeanor. I love what he's able to do. I love his mindset, that underdog mentality, how he has a chip on his shoulder. And once again, Jalen Hurts is a guy that people People have doubted and continue to doubt, yeah. which is crazy to me because they're literally in the Super Bowl right now. But he's definitely somebody that I just like how he is on and off the field. And I really, really want them to win, of course, for the city, but also for him. Yeah, absolutely. Now, speaking of you wanting them to win, tell me your Super Bowl prediction. I don't want to sound too biased, but I do think that the Eagles just have a chip on their shoulder at this point. I'll say 33 to 28 Eagles. I think it's going to be a shootout. I know a lot of people are saying, you know, the quarterbacks are a little bit banged up, but these offenses are so high powered. You know, I look back when the Eagles played in 2017, Tom Brady wins the regular season MVP. The Eagles go on to win this year. Patrick Mahomes won the regular season MVP. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying anything, and hopefully, you know, I don't jinx anything right now. But yeah. I think that the Eagles, once again, it's doubts, doubts, doubts. It's saying that, okay, well, the Giants were red hot until the Eagles played them, and then they said, well, it's not a real team. The 49ers have the best defense in the NFL until the Eagles played them, and then they say they're not a real team. Yeah. You know, so I think – Hopefully the doubts will be over if the Eagles can actually win the Super Bowl, but I think they really, really want it. And, you know, don't doubt the Chiefs, though. I mean, the Chiefs have been here. Yeah. They know what to do. They're the more experienced team, and I think experience matters. I do think it can go either way, but I'm going to, you know, put my stock on the birds, and hopefully as an Eagles fan, I also hope that's the outcome. Absolutely. And we want the best for you and for yes. your family. <laughs> All right, Kayla Santiago, of course, with Delmar Sports Network, sports director and literally die-hard Eagles fan, die-hard Philly fan. Yes. All things. All thank things. you so much. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right, and of course, be sure to tune in to the Super Bowl on Fox 21 Delmarva. Pre-game coverage starts at 1 o'clock. Kickoff is at 6.30.